Hi there lovely people, good evening from Dhaka Bangladesh. Today I'll be reviewing after a long time another men's syrup fragrance, quite a break. But this is hands down one of my most favorite niche houses. I started collecting niche. Uh, I think my second house ever was men's syrup. First fragrance I ever bought was Aventus by Creed. That was my first taste of niche. And since then I bought many niche fragrances, but my collection is dominated by designers on most part, you know that. Uh, so today we'll be looking at Musky Garden. Uh, we'll be telling you, um, why I decided to buy this fragrance and this was under my radar for a very long time and why this is one of the best Mansara fragrances ever. Uh, you often hear that those who review Mansara they always say this is best, that is best, everything is almost like the best because there are a lot of best fragrance in Mansara. That sounds weird but that's true. Uh, Mansara you cannot decide just one to you know for your life you know just for you to use. Different times you like different Manseras. Cedra Boise, you have uh, Sicily, you have uh, Lemon Lime, Black Gold, you have uh, Oud Lemon Mint, you go, the list will be very long, Instant Crush, uh, you can just go on all day. Uh, this is one fragrance I have sort of a story with, uh, I will tell you um, as we go. Let me show you the presentation, then we'll tell you the story. This is a tester unit, but look at how much you get for a tester. You'd at least get $20 off or $15 off uh, if you buy a tester, but you still get everything almost except that front box doesn't say the name of the perfume that's the sticker is missing they give you the pouch and the bottle with the cap so for me it, it's a no-brainer i mean if you get a full box uh i mean full package you just get a name in front everything else is same so this is the box it came a little bit uh beat up uh, the, the box took a little bit beating i'm sorry about that uh but they're made in france everything adp and this 125 mil i think okay 125 mil 120 mil sorry and it says tester here Okay, uh, this typical back box of Mansara and Mansara is a sister concern of Montal. They give you this kind of pouch. I personally feel Montals are more pricey than Mansara. I don't understand why because Montals come with like a tin can, like an X and they do give these, but it doesn't look very premium. You can drop those. It will sound like very cheap, but these glass bottles are very premium. Uh, these pouches, you can keep the bottle inside, protect it from light. And also, you, otherwise, you can carry your jewelry, stuff like that. It says M all over for Mansara. And this is the highlight of the presentation I want to show you. Uh, this is Musky Garden bottle. Uh, this one is the prettiest hands down of all the Manseras. It's got this black bottle, the name in front, black and gold, two-tone, okay, 120 mil. It has a beautiful flower right there. I think it's iris flower. What is this flower? I don't know. Okay, you, I don't think you can see the juice level inside uh, unless you, let me check actually, I haven't tried. If you can put LED and see. No, you cannot see, I mean, even if you put like LED light, I don't think it shows the juice level, but underneath, it's a little bit transparent. You can see the juice moving a little bit here. You can see a little bit here, uh, but apart from that, I don't think you can see the juice level much or anything much, okay? So yeah, really nice presentation. This is one of the screwed caps back in the time. It says M here, old school style. And this is the atomizer. New atomizers are more like a pump system like Dior Sauvage. And those are magnetic. You don't, you don't have to do that. But I like this, no problem. And these are older batches, so nice. So the thing is, uh, this bottle, I reviewed for the very first time, I think Perfume Bangladesh when I went, and they had this fragrance. Um, I did initial impression, but that day I bought a box full of fragrances, at least 12 fragrances. So I didn't take it. And this fragrance basically is one of the more expensive ones. You know, if you pay 80, 85 bucks at least, just like red tobacco in Bangladesh, after discount, that's a lot of money. But in general, these by right will be much higher in retail. So when I saw this, the flower, you know, I knew this is not for men. By right, this is for women. And that's what it says in Fragrant Taker. Uh, I sprayed it. I was so surprised. Trust me, guys. It was so good. If you ever smelled uh, Aventus for her, let me just keep it down because it's the focus is coming and going. Okay, if you ever smelled Aventus for her, if you ever smell fragrances like uh, Gucci Guilty, Absolute Femme, okay, this line, this line, if you ever saw, the like, this is basically the men's release, now discontinued, the Oud one. They have also the Gucci Guilty for men. And this one, if you see the purple bottle, that's for women. That one has a lot of blackberry and some berry notes. I wanted that, but so expensive. Gucci's are expensive for, I don't know what reason. Gucci and Armani, they make it so expensive. People actually shy away from them. And then there are fragrances like Narciso Rodriguez for her, uh, EDP, EDT, and all those musky-based perfumes that are over $100 easily. If you love those, 
this is a fragrance you should definitely look at i'll tell you as i go and i'll tell you the notes what i get from it but i'll tell you first of all the uh who is it for i think this fragrance is easily for both genders and even though it's marketed for women i think men i wrote very very first review i think our second review on fragrantica go and check out my the but the bottom my review will be there i said this is why this is not for men this is easily easily approachable by men based on what we are wearing nowadays metrosexual iris based perfume a lot of florals this one has citruses my god the performance is just crazy it's one of the best performing menseras ever and all year round wearable okay for summer you can pull this off you can bring it in out in winter spring any occasion you feel like musk is such a beautiful note you can wear that but this is not entirely uh, like dominant with musk let's get into how it smells let me show you the spray uh the sprayers are good uh let's just spray here some really really good good fragrance i love wearing this okay, let's just go one spray put it back give it some time because you can see it's a load of uh, liquid so uh, sometimes there are alcohol in different fragrances i suggest give it some time like 10 to 15 seconds for it to uh, the any alcohol for it to fly out okay fly away so notes wise this fragrance has a lot of notes and if you do love your berries like you are from a country where you produce berries cranberry i think there is a blackberry mulberry those kind of berries or uh, raspberry um, think of uh, citruses and then also got this white peach if you love those sweet smells it's going to be already a winner this just buy for those fruity notes all those gorgeous fruits it's here if you ever love sicily by mancera this is going to be easy love okay but this comes with a twist okay got the florals i think a little bit of not a little bit big bulgarian rose big dose of bulgarian rose that gives that beautiful posh lush sort of a floral and also got this iris and i think a little bit of jasmine sambac okay kind of like those florals so i thought it would be like a tube rose heavy like powdery but thankfully no this is not that powdery it stays fruity it reminds me of accento overdose that sort of fragrance okay definitely has that vibe but mostly reminds me of gucci guilty absolute femme that blackberry is just so mouth watering if you love berries if you like <coughs> berry um, mix or berry juice or berry i don't know a uh, blast of fragrances for summer you should definitely look at this one. you should consider buying this this is a fragrance you buy you never ever feel okay you are disappointed why because it smells so darn heavenly it has this beautiful musky tone the musk is just clean fresh non-animalic and the price range you know i would say you get 120 mil an each perfume look at that bottle uh, narciso is good i will not take a crate away from narciso rodriguez narciso made some of the best uh musky perfumes i had reviewed quite a few i love them but at times when you see the retail price on narciso they're going for 120 140 dollars i know and i'm like ouch <laughs> ouch compared to that in bangladesh you pay about 75 to 80 bucks for full presentation or whatever you know like 70 dollars think of more or less 70 dollars you get this you'll be so happy okay because this you just require two sprays it will last on your clothes whole day like this liquid look at how shiny my hand is the liquid is gone it's just the oil so mansura makes very long lasting fragrances so you see uh, i mean if you already feel like these notes already won you the performance won you the bottle what else remains very it ticks almost every box okay so in that way this is mansura one of the best perfumes hands down i love uh, i mean i love the sweet rose it's very nice not very jammy there's no oud in this thankfully thankfully thankful no oud if there was oud in this it would ruin the beauty of this perfume okay mansara happened to do that a lot i have a lot of manseras they have uh, not ruined but they introduce oud this one has rose like gold intensity about one of my favorite perfumes but it does have oud base it does have amber then i also have uh, i think there's one more black to black where do i have it? i kept it somewhere yeah just give you some comparison you get some idea black to black they look similar but very different perfume this is a beast for winter and it's super heavy super heavy with spices like cardamom cloves rose so this rose is totally different this is like a british princess okay so lovely take it out in spring perhaps the best time to wear it when you are just going out a lot of flowers blooming uh you just want to take a walk in a park or something like that or there's gonna be a beautiful day you know like a lot of 
butterflies, uh, birds around, uh, poetry, and you're gonna be just sitting there reading a book. Musky Garden, okay? And the name is so beautiful. So I would call this basically like a berry garden, <laughs> but I don't mind, you know, because the base is full of musk. Beautiful composition, hands down, like really i waited for a long time i wanted to get this bottle uh, you really really if you want to if you're a collector you want to get this bottle 10 out of 10 for musky garden in every aspect criticisms yes i'm not gonna just keep saying how good this is criticism first thing if you're looking for super uber masculine perfume you're not gonna end up with that one here the dry down basically will remind you sicily uh accent overdose herba pura a lot of the sweet uh very fruity perfumes but leans towards both feminine and men but this for me many men would think this is more like 60 for women more for 40 for men okay that's one side if you are looking for masculine fragrance like journeyman or kalan you know this is not that second thing i would say um this perfume basically if you're not a fan of musk okay many people do not like musk i did not like musk at first in my journey lavender musk i used to hate now i do but if you do not like musk you won't like it third thing if you do not like rose or floral notes you, f you find those are too feminine again uh, this one will give you that vibe that uh, rose the bulgarian rose is just for me the black brain rose makes it so well it is edible i want to eat my hand up but many people may not like that okay so check it out first do not blind buy and very last thing i can think of criticism is that this fragrance uh, perhaps you will not find so many occasion to wear it it's uh, not a formal fragrance it's a very happy uh, sweet fruity you know musky perfume means it's good for dates perhaps it's good for um, picnic dates you know or casual day out or for a lady if she can wear this at work but if you're wearing this at work you are too pretty <laughs> so uh where like versatility wise season wise is good but application wise perhaps a little bit less versatile like seven out of ten but still i give in this perfume 10 out of 10 for what a beauty this is. The Gucci, Gucci Guilty Absolute Femme, don't do it. It's too overpriced for what it is. Gucci do not pay more than 50 bucks. I'm not going to pay. I'm sorry. But um, Mansera, if you can get it at discount, I'm pretty sure many of you are smart enough to track down this for much cheaper than 70 bucks. That price range, buy it. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you soon. Hopefully I could do justice. Take care. Bye-bye.